Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. to week two of this mental health challenge. This week, the theme is exercise. I'm a little nervous just because, you know, your girl does not really exercise that much. <laughs> but today's challenge is to try a new workout that you've never done before. Okay, so I made it home. I'm just going to look on my laptop. Can't forget my blue light glasses. And I'm going to figure out a workout that I want to follow. So let's see what we've got here. So I just typed in five minute at home workouts. You know what, I might do this one because it says for beginners. <laughs> five minute warm up. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay, but first I need to get changed into my workout outfit, so. So I don't really know where the pants are exactly from, but it's got like the logo on the back. Then I got this top from Ross and I absolutely am in love with it. I'm also gonna be tracking it with my watch because I haven't really used it yet, so I'm really excited. Goodness. I'm out of breath. <laughs> and here's what I got. I turned it on around eight minutes, but I did like a five minute workout. I burned 64 calories and heartbeats per minute, 140. Whew. That was a little intense for me, especially because I haven't done a workout in a long time. Like my legs are burning. I'm out of breath and whew. But yeah, anyways, that is the first challenge complete. I will see you guys here tomorrow for the next challenge. Welcome to day nine. So today's challenge is to not be on your phone during all three meals. This is actually something that I've already was doing. Like anytime there's meals happening at our house, we always put our phones away. That way we can truly engage with the family. So this was really no different for me, but I do want to say a few notes on it because you can definitely get lost in social media and then miss out on great conversations. And I know personally with a big family, we're always off doing like a hundred different directions. So whenever it comes to eating our meals together, that is whenever we truly have time just to sit and talk and just to catch up with each other. So I highly recommend that you do this. But yeah, this is definitely a good one that I think is great for the day. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to day 10. So today's challenge is to do a for beginners yoga workout. So I just made it home. I'm going to head on inside and get on my computer and try to find some yoga classes for beginners because I am definitely a beginner in this. All right, let's see what we got here. Yoga workout for beginners. So I ended up looking up five minute yoga workouts for beginners. And I think I'm gonna go with this one.
Hey guys, and welcome to day 11. So today's challenge is to make two out of three meals meatless. And it said on there that you can look up on Pinterest if you need some ideas. I'm personally one who doesn't really eat breakfast. So my lunch that I brought to work, it was a tuna sandwich. So I decided what I'm gonna do is, normally whenever I come home from work, I eat a snack, but it's kind of like a meal. I'm probably just gonna fix me some cereal, um, just something to put on my tummy until it is time to eat supper tonight. And I don't know what we're eating for dinner tonight, but I will just make sure not to eat the meat side of it. <laughs> I was in charge of cooking supper tonight. What was on our meal plan was grilled chicken over noodles. It's so delicious, it is so good, and I wasn't able to eat it. I wasn't even able to try the meat, so I had to have my sister try the meat to see if it tasted good so that I could stick to this challenge. I just ate the noodles that they had. So needless to say, I'm hungry right now. <laughs> but that's okay though. Now I'm just gonna um, chill out and eat some snacks just to kind of fill up the rest of this tummy tum. Yeah, but I was like, man, of course the day that I need to not eat meat is just like, ugh. So that's it for this day. So I'll see you guys for tomorrow's challenge. Everybody, and welcome to day 12. So today's challenge is to meditate for five minutes and to really focus on your breathing. So I just got out of the shower, so I'm feeling very relaxed. I got on some nice comfy clothes. So I'm just going to roll out my yoga mat and I'm going to just sit down and relax. I'm going to be focusing on my breathing, just breathing in through the nose and out the mouth, just really taking my time and just calming my mind down, not really thinking about anything, just listening to the music and just enjoying the quiet. So that was actually amazing. Like, I never realized how good it is just to take a mental break and to just relax and to just really not think about anything. And just focusing on my breathing really helped me to narrow my mind because my brain goes like 90 to nothing 24 seven. So to be able just to relax, it's very refreshing. So I wanted to show my outfit for the day. This is one that my mom actually got me for Christmas. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but like the material that it is, is just like super soft and it's like very stretchy. And I just, I absolutely love it. I'm in love with this. I love the high-waisted pants just with these pockets. Oh my goodness, I love, I love anything with pockets. <laughs> so it's just nice and comfortable. It goes all the way down to my ankles, which is really nice because I have long legs and it's just hard to find things that are high-waisted that go all the way down to my ankles. So I absolutely love this. So that is my comfy outfit for the day. Okay, well that is it for today. So I will see you guys for tomorrow's challenge. Okay, you guys, so today is day 13, and today's challenge is, whoo, there's the sun. <laughs> so today's challenge is to bring your workout outside for at least like 20 minutes. So me and my sister are just gonna go walk on the road for a little bit because I don't really work out, so we're just gonna go walk on the road for a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to start a timer. Three, two, one, go. So I could show y'all that we walked for literally 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I am back. Me and my sister walked for let me see. I walked for about 25 minutes and I burned 161 calories and I did 2,411 steps. So yeah, that felt really great just to get some steps in and I was going to 
dressed in some cute clothes, but it was cold outside. So I decided just to dress into a sweatshirt and just some leggings. So that is it for today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last challenge for the exercise week. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to day 14, the last day of the exercise challenge. Today's challenge was definitely different than what I thought it was going to be. So today's challenge is to go vegan for a day. So as I said before, I do not eat breakfast, but I had my lunch already ready. I was going to bring tuna and I had to end up just grabbing a banana because I looked at it this morning and realized, oh, today is the vegan day. So... Huh. So I ate a banana and a half so far today. I am hungry. <laughs> but anyways, that is today's challenge. So I will show you guys all the meals that I eat today that are vegan. <laughs> Alright you guys, it's the end of the day and I did it. I did an entire day of eating vegan and I made sure that I did not wear any makeup so that I can also go vegan friendly that way. I did take a shower earlier and I should have used my Function of Beauty body wash because I know for sure that that was vegan friendly, but I completely forgot and I just used whatever soap was in the shower. So I don't know if that part was vegan friendly, but Everything else I did completely vegan friendly today. I am so proud of myself. And I'm hoping that everything that I ate today was exactly vegan friendly. I just kind of looked it all up and just went off of what the internet said. And I did it, so challenge complete. I'm so proud of myself. So I wanted to kind of be honest with you guys um, because this is a mental challenge that we are doing and I want it to be completely honest with y'all and not let this just be like a facade of just like, oh, this works and it's great. No, I do feel like this challenge is helping me and I'm feeling like my brain is getting cleansed. I do feel that way. I feel like I have to like really dig deep and kind of figure out what it really is like the core of the problem or like the core of why I'm feeling this way. And so far these challenges have been great, but I do want to be honest, I'm a little kind of out of it tonight and it's just, I had kind of a rough day. It was just kind of like a lot of memories and stuff was happening. So I've been kind of battling a little bit with that, but that's okay. It's okay to have emotions and stuff. You just gotta let it all out, get through it, don't shut it down. And then whenever you're done with all of that, then you just gotta move on and that's kind of like what i'm learning is like it's okay to have all those feelings but you can't let it control you so like have all those feelings feel everything that you need to feel but then once those feelings are done then you just gotta move on you can't really linger on them any longer so i thank you so much for clicking on this video you guys i really hope that y'all are safe and well and i will catch you guys next time bye <laughs>